and welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new. I'm Cora and today I am back with another CC haul. This one is gonna be huge. There's like over 150 items. So you know, uh, we're gonna be here for a hot minute. So as always, grab a snack, grab a drink, sit back, relax, listen to me, chat about life, you know, and um, look at the cute CC that I got to show today. There's some really, really adorable clothes, especially today that I am just so hyped to show you guys. Of course, there's like stuff for your female and your male sims as always. You can find the links to everything in the description down below. And as always, I'm not gonna re-upload these in a zip file because it's against CC creators TOUs. But you know, without further ado, let's just talk about life because I have something to talk about. Um, I mentioned in my previous video on Wednesday, if you've watched that, that I have not had a good week last week and um, I missed out on the biggest part why that was. So the first thing was that like I recorded a video for you guys last week for Wednesday and then I realized after I had recorded it and done the thumbnail and the CC list and everything that um, my foster cat sat on the keyboard and paused the recording. So uh, yeah, that was <laughs> that was not the best thing to find out. And then um, a day after, I think, I went for a walk with my mom and sister. It was like quite a long walk. It was really hot as well for some reason. So I was just sweating and I took my coat off and kind of walked and then all of a sudden I realized that my phone isn't in my pocket anymore and my phone is an, always on silent. I don't know, do you guys have your phone on loud? Because mine is always silent. Like, I don't know, my mom was like, why is it on silent? But I'm like, I, I don't want my phone to beep every time I get like a message or an email or I get a phone call or whatever, you know, like when I'm not busy, my phone is in reach and I will see if it lights up and someone calls or um, I get a message that's important, you know. Um, so I never have it on loud and we walk back all the kind of trip that we went prior to um, where I last saw it and that was like a long way so we looked everywhere on the floor couldn't find it at all I had kind of hoped that my sister put it in her bag because the last time I saw it we looked at the maps to see how to get home and we looked at it and my sister had the phone so I didn't remember if I put it back in my pocket or if maybe she put it in her backpack, but when she got home, she like looked at everything and it wasn't there and it was gone for, you know, um, a while at that point. We, like I said, we walked everywhere. We called the phone. I told my mom to message me to like call her number if someone reads that message because my messages show up on my home, well, it's not the home screen, is it? Like on the locked screen when you um, just tap the phone before you unlock it you can see all the messages so I was hoping that you know someone finds it and just calls and we'll be able to get it back I was terrified I cannot afford buying another phone right now but the worst thing would have been that I had not made a backup in pretty much forever and I would have literally just lost everything and there's so many pictures of my cat that passed away um, last year in February and that was just devastating so I was not in a good mood last week I was just you know um, it was bad <laughs> I was very upset and I just didn't know what to do um, I also I have an iPhone so uh, if you don't have an iPhone there's like an app you can turn on to find your phone but I hadn't that turn I hadn't have hold on I hadn't had that turned on either um, so it was not good uh, it was quite bad actually and there's like I don't know what you guys call that in English but like a lost and found place you know for the city and I kept checking their website to see if a phone has been handed in there was nothing I did that like all Tuesday unfortunately I also had my bank card in my phone um so that wasn't very helpful either so I had to um not cancel that but I had to call in and tell them to you know um kind of like just I don't know how you call that uh, but like block the card so you can't use it anymore. If you know what the word for that is, let me know because I want to learn. <laughs> and um, I had to call in to do that, but I had to go to my mom's for all of that because I didn't have my phone and I couldn't call anyone. So uh, it was just very stressful. Then I had to change all of my passwords and stuff like that. I couldn't log into my PayPal account either. It was just a lot. <laughs> and um, I don't know, it was not good. 
<laughs> and then I didn't get it back on Wednesday either. Didn't get it back on Thursday the whole day. And then I just like hear a really loud ring at the door like multiple times. And I'm like, what the heck? So I open it up and it's my mom. And I'm like, why is she here? And then she comes rushing up and she's like trying to hide something from me but I see it as she walks up the stairs and I was like oh my god my phone <laughs> and she was like yeah someone called it was like an old guy and she like on Wednesday she actually went and put out flyers bless her um if you can hear weird noises I have a cat on my lap right now and he is cleaning himself so you know <laughs> that's that I'm not just like licking my face while it's talking to you guys <laughs> um but yeah she put out flyers like oh, I'm just so thankful to her that she did all of that but she put out flyers with her number and like saying that we lost a phone and then someone saw it it was like an older man she she's an old man but then when we asked like how old he was she was like oh yeah our age so like mid to end 50s and I was like what the heck <laughs> that's not old but okay I was like imagining you know like an 80 year old but okay never mind um and he found it and then gave it to my mom's uh I had no idea obviously until my mom gave me the phone and I was just so freaking relieved I I there's no words to describe how relieved I was um it, it's just it was the best feeling ever and I was like oh my god my phone <laughs> and um the bad thing was though that it had rained the days before and it was obviously out the man said he found it like on the path which we still don't really understand how that would have worked because we went back and checked it twice because we went back the whole way that we came from and then obviously we went back again <laughs> to go back home so we walked there twice and then my mom said she walked once more when she put out all the flyers and she didn't see it and it would have been quite obvious you know it wasn't like a it was like a path through we have these like tiny gardens in Berlin that you can rent out and sometimes there's like a tiny house on them and you can garden and do stuff there it's not to live you know it's just to have a garden there and to I don't know have like an outdoor space I guess in the city to be in and uh, people, I don't know if you own them or rent them, probably both uh, could be a thing, but uh, yeah, it was just through those. So it was like very small paths and it, we should have seen it. So I, I don't know how we didn't see it or how no one else saw it. Um, my stepdad thinks maybe like someone found it, like a child or something. And then when the parents realized they told the child to put it back where they found it. But I find that weird. Like if you, <laughs> if you have a child and they all of a sudden have a phone that they found, I would be like, oh my god, I'd charge the phone and, you know, like, see if I can reach the people the phone belongs to and be like, I'm so sorry my child found this and didn't tell me, you know, I I don't think, and like, I wouldn't obviously have gotten mad at a child, it's like, understandable, it's whatever, just want my phone back, um, but yeah, it was raining, so I was terrified at my phone back, but I was still terrified because I was like, maybe it's broken, you know, and I still oh, need a new phone. So I put it in rice overnight for like, well, overnight and then for 24 hours in total and it turned on and I was just the happiest little bean ever. <laughs> I, I don't remember the last time I was this excited and it wasn't really just because of the phone itself, you know, it was mainly because of everything on the phone, like all of my pictures, all of my messages to people, just like, you know, stuff you have on your phone. And um, now I think about it, I still need to do a backup. I'm the worst person ever, honestly. It's just, it seems like it's such a big task and um, that's exciting. So yeah, <laughs> still have to do a backup. I do hope that I'll do, do it the next few days because if I ever lose my phone again and I haven't done a backup, I will be so mad at myself. It was like the first time I ever lost my phone. I haven't even lost it for like a few minutes ever in my life. You know, I've never left it anywhere or whatever. And I still don't get how it slipped out of my uh, jacket and fell on the floor. And it's just a jacket. Honestly, I wore that jacket before to the supermarket and my phone fell out when I walked. And obviously I heard and I was like, oh, but I was holding the jackets. So I was like, it's not gonna fall out. I didn't have a bag. It was my bad. I was being stupid, but I'm just so relieved that I got lucky enough to get my phone back. Um, so yeah, last week, as you can imagine, it was a lot, mainly because of the pictures, you know, there's like just a lot of sentiment and I couldn't, yeah, like I couldn't log into my PayPal, like I said before, because um, for my PayPal, I need like a verification and they sent a text message to my phone and then I need to, you know, copy the code. 
and it was bad <laughs> because I couldn't do anything. And I, it was funny because I did message PayPal about it. I emailed them. I was like, is there a way around it? And then I saw an email that they have messaged me onto my PayPal account. And I was like, well, great. Thank you. <laughs> like after I said, I can't log in because I lost my phone. Um, so that was a mess. You know, I spent like three days without my phone and I missed it dearly. I'm the type of person uh, when I'm home, well, not even when I'm just home, home alone, when I'm home, <laughs> I listen to podcasts literally the whole time. There's always some background noise. I hate silence so much. I have a very like active, vivid mind and it's just, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to, <laughs> you know be alone with my thoughts because I just get trapped in like very unhealthy like thoughts and I don't want that so I always have something on to listen to and it was just weird because I have an iPad and I had to carry that around the whole apartment whenever I did stuff and it was just I don't know <laughs> It's like obviously you know it's like very privileged that I have an iPad to like substitute my phone for but it was just weird because I noticed how much I use my phone like my room is like almost ne right next to the bathroom pretty much and honestly every time sorry I have to move the cat because he's gonna step on the keyboard again and we can't have that again I'm not doing it um but yeah like every time I go to the bathroom to pee for like literally two minutes I take my phone with me because I don't want to sit there in silence. That's the type of person I am. So it was very weird to not have my phone for that reason as well. I'm just, I'm just such a like auditive person. I love listening to things and um, I've said in a few of my previous videos that I have picked up reading again. I read so many books this year, I don't even get how I did that. But I'm just so excited about reading right now and my library also has a few audiobooks and I definitely need to go check those out at some point. I don't know if I would enjoy audiobooks, I haven't ever listened to an audiobook. Well, like an, there's like different kinds of audiobooks, isn't there? Like in German we actually have two different words for like an audiobook that is literally a book read out and audiobooks that are like stories that aren't in book form, you know, like kids stories or whatever. Um, I did enjoy those. Well, I still listen to some of them from my childhood, sometimes I fall asleep too, okay? Yeah, I'm a 26 year old baby, <laughs> I admit it. But uh, it, it was, you know, um, so I don't know if I would enjoy an audiobook because it's like quite lengthy, obviously. It's like usually around 12 hours, I think, the ones that I looked at and I don't know if, Obviously you'll take breaks, I'm not, I'm not crazy, I'm not going to listen to a whole 12 hour audiobook but when I work on my PC or when I game I often listen to audiobooks. That's why I really enjoy casual games as well. Ever since I was a child I used to love watching things or listening to things and playing something at the same time. It's just the most relaxing thing in my life and there isn't too too many games that you can do it with because a lot of times you need to listen to what they say or you need to kind of read something and concentrate but that's why I've always been so in love with The Sims because The Sims is obviously like I never play with the sounds on. Um, I'm one of those. Do you play the game with the sound on or not? I'm very curious to hear that because I think the people who play with a sound on could not imagine turning it off and vice versa you know I can't really imagine playing The Sims with a sound on whenever I record a let's play for this channel I'm like oh my god I've never heard any of these noises because I just have my game on silent all the time and then I listen to a podcast or I watch a YouTube video or watch something on Netflix you know um I just that's what I prefer because I usually if I just play The Sims I would get too bored even with the sounds on so I always need something on the side same with like a lot of games but it's just there's not that many games you can do that with like I do it with The Sims and there's like obviously Stardew Valley I did that with I do it with Animal Crossing you know all of those games where you don't have to read a lot or focus on anything really you can just listen to something and kind of play something at the same time and I need more games like that <laughs> um I have like not too long ago I think I realized that I just love casual games the most for that reason and I definitely need to find more casual games. I have so many games on my Steam account, it is ridiculous. <laughs> but you know, if you have a good game that you can play, play on the site, let me know. I played this really crazy game actually the last few days, I completed it by now, but it was just wild. I um, 
I think I saw it on offer and it was like in my Steam wishlist forever and instead of actually playing one of the hundreds of games that I have, I <laughs> decided to pick up a new one. It was only like two euros or something so it wasn't bad but I've been wanting this game for a while. It's called Barn Finders and um, it's wild. It's like a game where you have a store that you sell like not vintage things but you go to barns and you pick up like objects it's like a pawn store really but like they they don't well to, towards the end you can also buy things from customers but um, at first you just find things in barns and other houses and then you bring it into your shop and clean it and repair it and put it together and then you sell it and I just thought it was like a really casual game, you know, like nothing fancy about it. And then all of a sudden there's freaking aliens and I'm like, what the heck? And I went to Moon and it was, uh, it was a lot. I didn't expect that at all, but the game also did the nicest thing because I went to this like haunted house thing to pick up furniture to sell at my store. And the game asked me if I wanted to be scared. And I was like, this is like the best feature ever because I didn't expect this game to have like, any scary scenes in it and I am not in the mood to get scared by a game. I am a scaredy cat so no thank you. Um, and I was just so excited for that because it doesn't take away much. You know, obviously you know that they are planning to like spook you a little bit if you see that message but it was just nice for a person like me to be like, yeah, thank you very much. This could have triggered like an anxiety attack if I didn't know that was gonna happen and then, you know, I wasn't in the mood for it. Sometimes I'm okay with like scary stuff and sometimes I'm not at all. So so it was very nice to just be like, no, thank you. <laughs> I would rather not. And I've never seen that in a game before. And it was just so good. I, yeah, I don't know. I've, I feel like no one's ever thought about it. And it was great because people who want to be scared can just be like, hell yeah, like scare me a little bit. But whatever. <laughs> With that said, <laughs> that was my crazy week. Um, how did you guys do this week? Let me know. I <laughs> uh, hope you all have a great weekend. And if you enjoyed this video today, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you all next time. Bye!